is Kristen, and today we are going to be talking about how Jesse and I decided what we wanted to do, you know, college-wise, major-wise, I guess career-wise also. Um, for me, my family has always been really involved in my life, and so they've been asking me since I was like eight or nine years old, you know, what do you want to do? So here I was, a junior in high school. My friend wanted to be a brain surgeon. My other friend wanted to be a teacher. I had other friends that wanted to go into finance and I just, I had no clue. All I knew is that I really wanted to love what I decided to do. I wanted to wake up in the morning and be excited to go to work because who wants to wake up and dread going to work? So because I didn't want to apply to college as an undecided major, I started taking different classes. My mom is in HR, human resources. And so she's always been this like tough, successful businesswoman. And I thought, you know, I could do that. So I started taking some business classes. I took a finance class. I took an accounting class, a business law class. I started taking, you know, just a bunch of classes to figure out what I wanted to do. And it wasn't until the beginning of senior year that I started a marketing class. And I didn't even know like what marketing was. And I actually ended up loving it. I did super well. One a project actually we had to do was pick our favorite company. And me, being a makeup lover, of course I chose Sephora. And we just had to break down the company, you know, what they did for marketing. I did very well. I loved it. So I was like, I found it. This is what I'm going to do. So I applied for college as a marketing major. But I didn't know exactly what in marketing I wanted to do. Like there, there's marketing, but there's like different parts of it. So there's advertising sales, you know, stuff like that. So I started talking to my aunt who works for YSL. Her job was to design packaging for a new lipstick. She designed the actual tube of the lipstick and it was gold and it was beautiful and they put a mirror on the outside and as a makeup lover, I was just like, that's crazy that that's even a job. <laughs> like who would not want that as a job? So anyway, I decided what I wanted to do and I figured out where I needed to be now I just needed to actually you know do the work get the degree currently I'm a junior in college I'm working towards my bachelor's degree recently I decided to continue school at least through my master's you know at least get my master's degree that's the plan now and I know junior year in college that's when students start applying for internships to get experience to put on their resume I don't know about Jesse but I have applied to so many internships. I don't know if it's just like my field of interest, like the cosmetic field or what, but it is so competitive. So I was on Indeed and Hourglass Cosmetics, they're a company in Sephora, they sell makeup and they posted an internship opportunity on Indeed and it just sounded so cool. Like one of the jobs listed was to help plan a influencer party. So I I don't know if you've ever heard of um you know like Laura Lee and Desi Perkins and James Charles and companies brands will throw big parties for launches. So if they come out with new lipstick, they will throw this huge launch party and invite all these influencers. And so one of the jobs was to help throw this party and you know parties like that and that just sounded perfect. So going through these internship descriptions, like I knew that I chose the right career path everything just sounded so exciting so i'm glad that i chose marketing i'm glad that i chose something that i love hopefully my plans of graduating getting my bachelor's and then moving to california and getting my master's and hopefully one day getting my dream job of working for a makeup company that would be surreal for me. So that's the story of how i figured out what i wanted to do what i love to do guys it's jesse jeremiah i'll be talking about what made me decide to go to college and how i decided on what major to pick i graduated high school actually in 2010 so i'm a little older than like the average college student i actually went to hairdressing school right out of high school and i started january 2011 six months after I graduated high school. I just wasn't sure on 
exactly the path I wanted to go. So I went to hairdressing school. I went um, to Oxford Hair Academy in Seymour. It was a great school. And then I got my cosmetology license two years later. I worked as a hairdresser for a little bit, but I just wasn't loving it. I love the beauty industry. I love everything about the beauty industry. Hair, nails, makeup, skin. I just love everything about it, but just being a hairdresser, not owning my own salon, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So I decided to just get another job. I ended up getting a job at Hooters as a waitress and then a bartender. So I made pretty good money there. I actually ended up paying off my student loan from cosmetology school. Um, it was ended up being like $10,000 after all the grants and everything that I would have to pay back myself. So since I wasn't doing it as my career, my parents were like, no, you have to pay that off yourself. So I'm like, okay. So I paid it off and then I started off with just going to uh, Naugatuck Valley Community College and I started out just with a general degree. It took me one semester to decide that I wanted to go for business management. So what made me decide that was I'm definitely not into the medical field. I'm not queasy or anything. I just, I'm kind of a germaphobe, so that that would just not be the career choice for me. I know anything that would have to do with like crazy math wasn't for me, just wasn't my strong suit. So didn't want to pick anything that had to do with that. I have like an entre, definitely an entrepreneur. So I ultimately picked business management and I feel like it's the perfect fit for me. So it actually took me three years to get my associates at Naugatuck Valley. Got me associates in business management, then I transferred to Westcon August 2019 this last past August, and I am pursuing my bachelor's in business management. I'm so, so glad I put my foot in the door and just started with that first semester. I started off with just three classes, just to get back in the swing of things, and then I kicked it up to four classes. Once I got into the swing of things, I actually, for the first time in my life, became an AB student, which I'm very proud of to get to that point. And I am more motivated than ever. It's it's really great, it's a feeling, so I'm in my junior year now. I will be graduating next May, 2021. And I seriously, I really couldn't be happier and more proud of myself. So I actually, I will be graduating when I'm, next year I'll be 29, which is so weird to say. I just don't know what I see myself exactly doing when I graduate. I will be graduating next May, 2021. My vision is to open my own salon or I can open a business with my sister. Me and my sister are very close. We're only two years apart. She's in real estate, so I can go that route with her, um, open a business that has to do with real estate or we're both very into everything beauty. So like anything in the beauty industry. So we can open a spa or a hair salon, a blowout bar where you just give blowouts strictly to like for your hair and stuff. So there's just like endless things that you can do or I can just join the corporate world. There's just so many endless opportunities of what I can do with a business degree. So I just wanted to um, leave off with a quote that I thought was really inspirational. So ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. There will be obstacles, there will be doubts, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there are no limits. I hope everybody here enjoyed our podcast. Thank you so much for listening.